Hey guys, I'm Eric Vallon. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. So today I'm really excited to be shooting out on location with the new Braun Color Ciros L. So this is just like all the amazing Ciros that we've had been shooting in the studio with for a while, except there's something a little unique with this one. This one's actually battery operated, so we can be out here on location taking amazing portraits with that same great studio quality light, only outside with no cords in sight. One of the things that makes the Ciros L unique is the fact that it's got 800 watt seconds of power. So there's two models, there's the 400 and the 800 L. This particular one with the new lithium ion battery makes it the most powerful battery operated mono light on the market, which means when I'm out here shooting in bright sunny conditions and I need all the power possible to get in that great lineup of modifiers for that soft light, that 800 watt seconds is gonna allow me to compete and overpower the sun when I need to. So this is the lithium ion battery. Now what's great about this is it's extremely tiny, really lightweight. You saw how quick and easy it is to get out of that. So you can actually have multiples of these on location if you're gonna be shooting all day. But what's neat about it is it actually has a ton of power in here. On the 400 watt second unit, you're gonna get over 440 full power flashes. And now on the 800 watt second unit, you're gonna get over 220 full power flashes. So that's that full power. Now imagine if we were at half power, you would double that, quarter power, you'd quadruple that. So you're getting the picture. You can be out there overpowering the sun all day with one or two of these batteries before they even get close to drying up on you. And if you're ever worried about where your power is at, just hit that little check button right there. The LED indicator will come on on the top and let you know just how much juice you got left in the tank. So here we are in our first location. We've got our athlete, Julian. We'll be doing some action shots with him and then also some portraits here in a little bit. But the first thing we gotta do is figure out how we're gonna modify our light out here on location for our portraits, our running shots, action shots, and all that. The great thing about the Ciros L is that it's designed with that exposed flash tube, just like all the other Ciros in the lineup. And what this does is that gives us a nice even spread of light. So you see how the flash tube is exposed here, has clear glass around the outside to allow the light to escape to on all sides, and then has the frosted dome to knock down on any hot spot and lessen the intensity of the light coming directly forward. So where a speed light would be shooting all the light directionally out front, this is gonna give us that beautiful spread of even light like you would expect from an indoor studio strobe, except we can take it out on location now because we've got a battery powered mono light. So the beauty of this is we have all the power we need out on location while we still have that exposed flash tube that works at the entire lineup of Braun Color parabolics and soft boxes. So you've got all the options as far as controlling, shaping, and softening your light and all the power you need to take it out on location. So now that we've softened our light, we've got the direction and shape that we want out of it, let's go ahead and turn the Ciro cell on, grab the camera, and we'll start with some killer portraits here with our model. So continuing this no cable thing that we're doing here, I've got the RFS radio transmitter on top of my camera, and all I have to do is turn the power on on the back of the Ciros. It's got the radio receiver built in, so there's no connection cables, no sync cables, and I can just start firing away. So we've got all the mobile power in the world we can want, and what I love about that is it gives me the ability to creatively vary things up really quickly on set. So our first portrait we had was very evenly lit. I wanted to go for something a little more dramatic here. So I closed down my aperture and was able to remotely power up my flash to compensate for that here. So what we did is we knocked down all the ambient light, brought up the power of our Ciros L to fill it. And now we have a nice evenly illuminated portrait, except we have more drama because we don't have all the ambient light in the photograph. Gives us something a little different, an extra look, and it took all of but five seconds to make happen. All right, so we got our static portraits and our still shots. So let's let our model change into something a little more athletic. We'll get out there, get running. And with these action shots, we'll really start pushing the Ciros L to see what it can do. So a really great feature of the Braun Color Ciros L is its fast flash duration. So not only do you have plenty of mobile power now, we also have the ability to really freeze motion. And to make sure we're getting the fastest light output possible, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on something called speed mode. So you just access it from the back menu. You just roll the dial over until you find speed mode. You press the center dial button in once to engage that. You just flip it to on, press that button in again, and there you go. So what speed mode is gonna give us is it's gonna make sure it's optimizing your flash to be as fast as possible, as far as the speed of the light goes for freezing motion, and also gonna give us the fastest recycle time too. So that way we can take rapid fire pops and the light is moving so quickly, it's gonna freeze our subject in place just like a fast shutter speed on your camera would in natural light. So since the light is what's freezing the subject here, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that he's wrapped in light. I'm gonna take two of the Ciros 800Ls and put one on either side of him. 
and I'm going to use the L40 reflector here to focus our light in just a little bit more. Now he's going to be engulfed in light on both sides. We've got speed mode on that makes that light extremely fast to freeze him. And we're going to go through some different jumps and leaps, different strides and poses to actually freeze him midair to get this surreal look to that explosive power as we tack it onto the wall and capture just an instant of all of that action. Now in the next setup, we're going to show you how quickly this flash recycles because this really comes into play when you're shooting action. I have a camera that can shoot 11 frames a second. With motor drives nowadays, we're taking a lot of pictures with the press of a button, and it's nice to have a flash that can actually keep up with every single shot. So for this setup, we still have our same cross lighting. We've got two of the 800 watt second Cirrus Ls. We've got both of them have an L40 reflector on them. One of them actually has a CTO gel on it just to warm up the temperature of that light just a little bit. And what we're going to do now is still on speed mode, we're going to show you just how fast this recycle time is. So I'm going to use burst mode on my camera, so I'm going to be taking multiple frames per second, and we're going to let our model just run, and I'm going to backpedal with them, all the lights are going to move, and we're going to show you how quickly that flash will keep up with every single click of the frame. So in our first action setup, you saw how we could get that static action shot, and the fast flash duration was able to freeze our subject, hanging him in midair. And then in the second setup, you saw we had the same cross lighting, and then we were able to see how quickly that flash was able to recycle. So the flash itself, the light is extremely quick for that action stopping power, and it also recharges really quickly too. So you can take multiple frames, do that multiple burst mode on your camera, and it will keep up with you, which makes catching that decisive moment in the action shot that much easier. Let's go ahead and get to a different location, see what we can come away with there. And I'm thinking we might try to push this thing to its power limit with some bigger modifiers and competing with some bright daylight. So here we are, we're at our next location, and now we're really gonna start challenging the Cirrus L in the power category. So if you look behind me, I've got my very scenic Brooklyn Bridge back there. I wanna make sure that I get that in focus in my shot. So if I have my subject here on the waterfront and the bridge in the background, I'm gonna need a pretty small aperture like F8 or F11 to get them both relatively in focus. So when it comes to bringing a light into this equation, that light's gonna have to be pumping enough power to get an exposure of F8 or F11 as well. So we're gonna set up the Cirrus 800 watt second unit and we're gonna take advantage of all the power it's got available. And then the other thing was we're gonna be using large modifiers. So when you use a large modifier like a softbox or an octabox, it absorbs light when it goes through that diffusion material. So you get soft light, but you lose power. So again, having a strobe that has 800 watt seconds or 400 watt seconds when you're shooting on location comes in really handy so that you can use big light modifiers while still getting plenty of output to illuminate your subject. So let's go ahead and build out our soft boxes, grab our Cirrus, get our model, and get to shooting. So there you have it. We shot all over Brooklyn today. We were able to use a number of different brown color modifiers, all in the lineup with the single Cirrus unit. We haven't even killed one battery yet after all the different shots that we've got. And we showed you how you got that fast flash duration, great for freezing motion, quick recycle time for taking rapid fire shots, and we've got all the control in the world with the built-in radio receiver and Wi-Fi control that you can use with Gibran Control app. So I'm really excited to add the Cirrus L to my kit, and it is definitely the light for you if you like to shoot out on location or just like to go cord-free in the studio.